I was diagnosed as 10 years coming this Christmas. Okay. Uh, I would have had my surgery around Christmas t uh, 10 years ago. I found at that stage you wanted somebody to make all the right decisions for you rather than have to face a decision. So then I just sat back and went with the surgery. What I didn't realise that after the surgery I would have to wait at least two years before I could have my reconstruction. My sons at that age would have been in their early teens and um, they would have never seen me without hair. They would have always seen me with a wig. I tried to hide my cancer from them. And likewise, I felt that this was something so private to me, my, my breasts, that uh, I didn't go into discussion with my husband or family about it. Uh, um, and even to this day, I would find that I could talk to somebody that was more distant from me than family. I think you want to protect your family. I had three older sons and I had my daughter. And then I realised there was quite a few things that I couldn't do comfortably with her and one was going swimming. Uh, the soft day if you had went swimming you were forever drying them out. You were forever losing them. I remember one day um, in Dunn stores in Rockerfeld walking along and this thing walked, popping out. You know and it actually walked its way up my shoulder. So then I thought right go and get the more permanent one. And I got it and it was so heavy. I felt them so heavy. And I thought no this isn't really what I want. Uh, and those, in a way, made me, you know, push to get my reconstruction surgery done. I did ask then two years later to have uh, to be referred for reconstruction. I felt that when I was diagnosed with cancer, people were quite sympathetic and understanding. But once you went to have cosmetic surgery, you, you were seeing, or I, I, maybe this was my perception of how they perceived me, that I was asking for too much, you know. You had cancer, you've survived it, you had all your treatments, your chemo, your radiotherapy, and now you're looking more. The main reasons, one, was freedom. Um, not so much to get my figure back, that I felt I needed this figure, uh, but for convenience. Uh, you know, for two years after my, my cancer, and I realised, well, I'm not going to die here, I'm going to survive here. I had given up work, I thought I had retired, and then I thought, right, back back to work here, back till everyday living. And I thought this would be much more convenient that if you get up in the morning, have a shower and dress yourself without thinking, will I wear the soft or the hard, the prosthesis the day, and what will I wear, will, you know, what blouse will I lift out that's suitable. So it was driven by convenience. The options that were pre presented to me was a uh, muscle, tummy muscle, a uh, back muscle, or implant. And I had said that I wanted implant because I had a younger sister at about 34, had breast cancer as well, and had a bilateral, and she had implant, and she had, had no problems with her implant, her actual implants. I went for my implants, and um, my first surgery was in 2002, the end of 2002, so it would have been maybe 2005, I know it was beyond the two years, and then we had a problem, uh, not with the implant, it was with the um, my arm, I couldn't lift my arm a certain level. I had quite a bit of uh, uh, tissue removal on my left hand side and the implant seemed to go flat and uh, it had to be redone. I think it wasn't so much that the implant went flat, it, it, it kind of bedded in further into me and they felt that I needed a different implant in and um, a wee bit of organising of uh, tissue. I didn't feel that this was a major problem, you know. And I always felt every time I went back, well, they're keeping a good eye on me as well. It's, they're keeping a good follow-up. In fact, I would f feel that as an older woman, I have better breasts. Uh, they, they keep their shape, you have good movement. Um, they haven't got any bigger. There's a, 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 a plus. They do mould into the shape of you, but if you put on weight, they're not going to put on weight. Uh, and they do keep their shape and they allow you to do everything that you would have been doing in your life as normal. You know, you don't have to stop and think about um, what I'm going to wear because I have no breasts or I have artificial breasts put in here. Totally part of my body, they're, they're under my skin, they're totally moulded into the shape of me, there's part and partial. They, they, feel no, they feel more part of me than 
most times I wear glasses than putting on glasses or, you know, they're absolutely in no way do I feel that they're separate from me. I wished that I had a head, had my reconstruction when I had my initial surgery. You know, I think I would have um, avoided a lot of the shock factor of when you looked at yourself and your breasts were gone. Because when your breasts are gone, all your muscles gone. You know, people say, say, well, you're going to be flat chested. No, you're more than flat chested. All that is gone. You're totally indented. Uh, and that's a big shock factor when, when you first look at yourself. The reconstruction is a very, very simple procedure. The type that I had is a very simple procedure. A quick recovery from the surgery. I was able to go into hospital one day, rest up the second day, and come home the third day. I'm um, quite on the third day in my kitchen making tea and quite good movement around the house. You feel t totally confident again. Um, after, after having cancer and after having surgery and, and also the effects of chemotherapy and radiotherapy, you lose your, your confidence to go back out to a job, to hold your own is much more difficult. Um, you have to build that up again. When you're in with the consultant and the breast care nurse, most of it's not gone in. Most of it's, you're picking the bits that you want to hear. You want to hear anything positive that you can hold on to. I remember people saying to me, oh, you're going to have this surgery that other people are paying £10,000 to have in the States. And I said, it's not, a, it's not a boob job I'm having. I remember saying to one woman, I'm not going, it wasn't a boob job I had. It was surgery that would make my life much more simpler. Uh, and allow me to continue on. But if, if women can only see that it's part and partial of their cancer and their, their surgery to correct their cancer, you know, it's nothing extra that they're asking for. But still women say, you constantly meet women and say, well, I love a bod, well, I'm not looking that. You know, maybe a wee tiny bit of me then thinks, oh God, was I was greedy. <laughs> I was greedy, but they'll say, you know, I was, I'll not be looking that. If I get rid of this, I'll be happy enough.